Outside In is a national project which began in 2006 by Pallant House Gallery. It provides a platform for artists who, for various reasons, find it hard to access the mainstream art world. It gives them the opportunity to both exhibit online and in a gallery space. It was a fantastic opportunity for us to exhibit new work that has never been seen before and to uncover new talent. So we were given the enviable um, task of selecting from over 400 artists and 16 of those you see in the galleries. This is a work by an artist called Mary Courtney and it's called Drop of Makeup. It is literally almost like a diary in form and um, she spent nine months working on it. It's incredibly detailed, it has this amazing spherical format to it and it's loosely based compositionally on the map of Mundi at Hereford Cathedral. Mary was diagnosed with ME several years ago and this work really was her sort of quest to find the energy that she was now was now lacking. So it, it charts medieval references but it also looks for energy in the contemporary world. So there are details like the oil refinery up there at the top and Google even makes an appearance. Although it's very specific to her own life and what she's been going through, it actually has quite a lot of sort of generic references that I think everybody can get something out of. We were really keen with this project to align it alongside the folk art collection because like the artists in Outside In, the large part of the collection is worked by untrained individuals and has particular stories to tell. So the selection process for those artists was that they came in, worked with us and we gave them a free reign to choose anything they wanted from the folk art collection. This is a work by Michael George. His work is amazingly photorealistic and all of his work actually references travel. Michael had post-traumatic stress disorder and I think at various points in his life when he was coming to terms with that, he, he painted. I think what's interesting about his work is it's so positive. Stylistically, you don't even realise the sort of trouble that he was going through and actually he says that art has really helped him through some difficult times. We asked Michael to come in and choose a work that he particularly liked from the folk art collection and he chose a work by Alfred Wallace which shows boats approaching a harbour. He was particularly interested also in the sort of back story of Wallace and the fact that he began painting upon the death of his wife. So there's definitely similarities in terms of why they create the work they do. This exhibition is a first for us in terms of the amount of involvement and the level of interpretation by the artists. Normally we would go out and look for artists, whereas this time the work has been sort of brought together under the umbrella of Outside In, which is really exciting. We are finding people that wouldn't necessarily be found. This is a work by Mark James. It's of the Narborough Road in Leicester, which is where Mark lives. It's actually produced on the front of a, an old fire door, which he's taken his junk mail that comes through the door every week and pasted it. So he's used the materials around him, the things that he's known to create it. To that, he's then made this amazing street scene. Mark chose a townscape from the folk art collection, which is by an artist called Hepworth. The theme, I guess, is still of interest today and in that it records something. And I think the fact that it hasn't got people in it sort of gives it that timeless quality. I think to have found somebody that is almost doing something that is a folk art tradition but is actually updating it with something contemporary is, is really exciting to see. People have been really taken with it and I think a lot of that is to do with the interpretation and the artist statements, the stories, it, it literally is a journey that you go on when you go around reading about what some of the, the artists have to contend with in their daily lives and what they're actually managing to produce, it is really inspiring. 